Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Continuing on with my Clear Jelly Stamper Haul, CJS45 Ornamental Flourish will be the stamping plate I swatch and review in this video. And you can find all of the information on where to purchase from and social media links in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please also like this video. These really help out my channel. Thank you. For the live swatching, I'll be using my Born Pretty Jewel Clear and White Stamper, my favourite scraper, and I'll just be using the clear head of the stamper. I have four coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto and I'll begin with the green tip and I'll be using the Clear Jelly Stamper white and black stamping polishes for this swatch. I'm going for this image here and my first layer will be white and I'll remove any excess with my lint roller. I'm using my bigger filming area which I'm now having to get used to but hopefully it will make a difference in my videos. Once I've laid the white, I'll then go in with the black over the top. These designs are just so stunning and I have to say I do prefer trying to use as many clear stamper polishes as possible with layering images because they dry slower, they're much easier to work with. On to the second swatch and I'm going to use the purple nail tip and I'll be using the silver and black clear jelly stamper polishes for this swatch and I'll be using this image here. My first layer will be the silver and personally I prefer to use darker colours for the top layer but that is just personal preference. I just like how it outlines the images. Onto the third swatch and I'll be using this beige nude tip for this swatch and I'll be using this copper metallic polish for the first layer and then black over the top. I am going for this large image here and I'm only going to be using half of the image but I will pick up the whole of the image. Just if I miss any bits I can quickly turn it around and use the other end. And then I'll do this for both of the swatches. Now I do wonder if I should have used a dark brown for the outline instead of the black, but I do really love this swatch. On to my fourth swatch and I'll be using this white nail tip for this swatch. And I'll be using the gold and black clear jelly stamper polishes. And I'll be swatching this image here. I did a swatch like this for my photo swatches and I thought it would be a good one to demo how I did it. It's not the same image but the colours are the same and I loved the final outcome. I would probably wear this because I just think it looks stunning. I am actually surprised how good these swatches have actually come out being that I'm in a different area. And then here they are all together. I love how these look. So let's move on to the photo swatches. CJS45 is just an absolutely stunning plate. When I first saw this one on the Clear Jolly Stamper Instagram page, I just knew it had to be in my collection. I've taken 24 swatches. Now from the start, I'm going to say I had big problems with that huge image at the top. This isn't down to the plate, it's down to me. If you are a regular and you follow me, you'll know that opened spaces can be somewhat of an issue for me. So it was mainly the open spaced image that I had the problem with. So I've only taken two swatches from that large image but you could definitely take more. CJS45 is really going to make some outstanding monies. I love how all of the top layer images look. They have added sort of shadow lines. It makes them so unique and I don't actually think that I've ever seen a plate like this before. So if you love the swirly type of patterns like me, you will love this plate. As with all other clear jelly stamper stamping plates I've swatched so far. 
I find that it doesn't matter if they're not quite lined up. For me, this just adds something to the swatch, but wow, what a plate. I even love that there's such a huge range of sizes of images, from the teeny, teeny, tiny ones to the really, really large ones. I had a lot of fun with this plate, but I really had to concentrate on this a lot more than the others. But I love all of the swatches, from the live swatches at the beginning to these photo swatches. I've even tried using some different colour combos as well. So on to the Manny. Every nail is a different image. I did find that two of them are almost the same, they're just in sort of different directions. For the index and pinky finger, I've just used the top layers for these fingers and I just felt that it broke the mani up a bit and I have to say I love how the whole mani looks and I would definitely do something like this again when I return to the plate. All of my swatches and mani will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days. There is a link in the description box and definitely check out Clear Jelly Stampers Instagram page. There is loads of inspiration and that's actually where I found this plate. Nail Dot Supplies, who I actually bought this plate from, is the UK stockist of Clear Jelly Stamper. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on CJS45 from Clear Jelly Stamper. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you guys. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping. And bye.